Alright guys, so this is round two of the Stress Test. Um, this is going to be the Valley Benchmark. Or Heaven Benchmark, I'm sorry. Um, right here, I'm running Direct X 11 uh, Ultra Settings. Tessellation disabled, 3D, uh, Stereo 3D disabled, Multi-Monitor disabled, because I'm only running one monitor. Um, and then I'm going to run it at 1920 by 1080 because my computer monitor doesn't run at 1440p. Uh, so, um, a quick run. Let's get to boot up the second card. Um, another cool thing about these Direct CU2 um, and even the the regular R9 270Xs, um, they will turn off the second card when you don't need the extra power. So that's kind of a nice thing as well. Um, is that when you don't need that extra power boost? it turns it off, so, um, wow, <laughs> um, so we're getting the frames right now, I mean, you guys can see I got fraps running in the left corner, and then, uh, the FPS is popping up on the right up there as well, um, now this actually is running it at 1170 megahertz, um, which it wasn't before, <laughs> When I did the Valley Bet in Schmark, it ran at a uh, thousand megahertz for the graphics. So right now it's running at a full, full juice. <laughs> uh, memory set to 1425, and then the graphics set to 1170. I just love the heaven benchmark just because of this dragon. This dragon looks badass. Again, I'm making these videos because uh, you know I had a couple of my friends who I game with at night, and uh, you know a couple of my friends who are just getting into PC building um, ask me for it so that they know like what my computer is capable of, so that they can build something similar. Um, and like I said, since I got this new FX series processor, it's been pretty interesting to see the you know, the performance increase. I honestly am even thinking about going with an 8 core just due to the fact that adding the extra 2 cores made that big of a difference. Um, I don't know if the 8320 or the 8350 will actually work with this motherboard. That's something I still have to do some research on just because it does have the older uh, 970 chipset. is crystal clear too. It's obviously not going to be picked up as well on the uh, camera for the iPhone, but 
crystal clear if you're sitting right in front of this monitor. This is the last scene. Alright. So, heaven benchmark. Average frames per second was 95.1. Uh, minimum frames was 9 somehow. But max frames was 190. Um, score of 2396. I have to see where I stack up against as far as everybody else, but uh, I think that's pretty good, <laughs> um, if you ask me. But I'm not too happy with that low mark. Um, Could have just been a little glitch though that knocked it down all the way like that, but I'm still really impressed with my computer at this point. Um, here you can see I'm running at 4.7. And uh, I showed you guys before, up here, the graphics is running at 1170 and 1425 with the megahertz clock, um, with the memory clock rather, and that's on both cards. Um, both cards were running on that, it's really hard to see through the grate here, but um, both cards were running. I think it just turned off the other one, actually now it's still running because of the thing still running. So we're going to save that and close that out. We're going to click this. And uh, anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video on that. Um, you know, again, this computer is not, you know, obviously not maxed out to the extreme of, like, having the best CPU, the best everything. But it's the best that I could afford at the time. And I think this computer is absolutely ridiculous. Um those frame rates were pretty good. I do have to look into what the scores were that I got and uh, see you know where I stack up against but I think those scores were pretty good and uh, I'll get back to you guys on that but otherwise have a great night guys I hope you guys enjoyed the videos and uh, let me know if you want to see anything else.